Hello everyone, welcome to this video. As a business owner, you play a crucial role keeping up to the date of your accounting and as well as your banking transactions. You'll have to ensure that the online payments you send and receive from your bank for business purposes match the transactions you record for your accounting. To streamline this process, Zoho Books, a powerful accounting software, is integrated with various bank feed service providers which will fetch bank feeds and allow you to reconcile them with your sales and purchase transactions. In this video, you'll learn how banking in Zoho Books can be used extensively in your organization. Let's get started. First, let's connect your bank account to Zoho Books. To do this, log into your Zoho Books account, go to the banking module in the left sidebar, and click Add Bank or Credit Card. You'll see a list of popular banks displayed here. You can connect with any of these banks or click Connect Now to connect with a third-party bank feed service provider. Let's select this option for now. You'll have to agree to the terms and conditions provided by the End User License Agreement to use automatic bank feeds and click Proceed. Now, select any one of the third-party service providers, such as Yodley or Token, from the drop-down. The list of banks supported by Yodley will be displayed. You can select the bank or credit card you wish to connect to Zoho Books. If you do not find your bank, you can select the other service provider and search for your bank. You will be prompted to select the date from when you want to fetch the bank feeds, then click Add. Once connected, Zoho Books will fetch your bank feeds periodically from your bank account. Let's see how the entire process works. Firstly, you send an invoice to your customer from Zoho Books and your customer makes a payment directly to your bank account. Now Zoho Books fetches the bank statement through a third-party service provider, namely Yodley or Token, and displays the bank feeds under uncategorized transactions in the banking module. Using the transaction date and the date of the bank feed, Zoho Books will scan the list of transactions you created within the app and show them as possible matches on the right side. You can click Match to match the bank feeds to Zoho Books. Once it is matched, it will be displayed under All Transactions with the status matched. If at any point you wish to unmatch this, you can do so by clicking the Unmatch option. Now, let's say your customers have deposited a cumulative amount to your bank account for multiple invoices at once. Then, you can select the bank feed and match it against the multiple transactions shown in the right side of the page. You can also click this icon to narrow down the transaction and match them. This is how bank feeds are matched against transactions in Zoho Books. Now let's say you receive recurring payments from a customer on a monthly basis. In such a case, you wouldn't need to match the bank feeds manually every time. You can just automate the whole matching process. Let's see how to do this. Click the gear icon at the top right corner and select Manage Transaction Rules. Click the New Rule button. Set your role name. Since you have your payees and the relevant information, you can set the criteria and click Save. So the next time a bank feed that matches this criteria is fetched, it will automatically be mapped to the transactions in Zoho Books and be placed under Recognized Transactions. You'll have to verify and categorize the transactions. Now let's say you've made or received payments for your business and have not recorded the transactions in Zoho Books. In such a case, you can choose to categorize the bank feeds manually. Click the transaction and under Categorize Manually, enter the details and click Save. Once it is categorized, it will be displayed under All Transactions with the status Categorized and will be recorded in Zoho Books as well. You can also manually enter the transactions for the corresponding bank feeds. Click Add Transaction at the top right corner and select the type as Transaction. Enter all the details and click Save. Now, this transaction will be also recorded in Zoho Books respectively. If you do not want to include a particular transaction from the bank feed, you can select the transaction and click Exclude. Now that you have an idea of how transactions are matched, in order to avoid missing transactions in Zoho Books and your bank account, you can choose to reconcile the accounts. With reconciliation, you ensure all the bank feeds and transactions in Zoho Books are mapped appropriately. Let's see how to do this. Click the bank account you want to reconcile with Zoho Books. 
click the gear icon and select reconcile accounts. Click reconcile now, enter the closing balance and click start reconciliation. Select the transaction, you'll have to make sure that your closing balance matches the cleared amount. And now you can reconcile your account. If you cannot find your bank in the third-party bank feed providers, you can create it manually and fetch your bank statements for it. To do this, click Add Manually, select the account type, enter the name of your account, its code, currency, and the account number, enter the name of your bank and the routing number. If you want to add any notes, you can use the description box and click Save. This bank account will be displayed here in the banking module. To import statements for this bank account, Go to the Banking module and select the bank. Click Import Statement. You will have to follow the file format and you can also download sample file for your reference. The bank feeds you import can be in the CSV, TSV, XLS, OFX, QIF, CMT053.xml or CMT054.xml formats. You also have the option to upload bank statements from your email automatically. Go to the banking module and click auto upload bank statement from email at the top right corner. Once it is enabled, whenever the bank statements get forward to your email address, they'll reflect in Zoho books. Or you can click the gear icon at the top right corner and select automatic import. You'll be prompted to provide your account number and click continue. After associating the account number to your bank account, the bank statement will be automatically fetched into Zoho Books. If you want to make changes to the details of your bank account, you can go to the banking module, select the bank account you want to edit, click the gear icon at the top right corner and click edit. If you want to disable your bank account temporarily, you can mark it as inactive. If you no longer want to use your account, click delete. If you've uploaded the wrong bank or credit card statements or uploaded the same statement twice, you can undo your last import. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Do click the bell icon to get further updates from us. If you have any queries, contact us at support.mx at the rate zohobooks.com. Thank you.